Welcome back to Business Conversation. Hi, Austin. Hi, Lisa. Hi, students. I'm glad you are back with us. We have a great lesson planned for today. That's right. You know we are going to travel today. Wow, travel. That sounds great. Austin, while you are traveling, if you are limited to bring five items with you, what would you bring? Hmm, only five items? I would say my phone, a good pair of headphones, a sketchbook, maybe a small board game, and probably a good book, too. Very interesting. Except for these things you would bring, I will also bring my own pillow. I'm very picky about a pillow. I understand. To each their own. Now let's take some of our students' questions before we start our lesson. My name is Melody. And I'm Corey. I have a question. Do I need to pre-order my meal if I'm a vegetarian? Thanks for the question, Melody. It's a good idea if you have any dietary restrictions or preferences like vegetarianism to call ahead or to check with the airline to see if they can help you out with a meal that suits your preferences. It's increasingly common that when you go on a long flight, especially international flights, that they will offer a vegetarian um, option, even if you don't ask for it. But if this is something that's very important to you, it's better to check ahead to make sure that you get what you want. Okay, 刚刚, uh, Austin 老师的回答就是说，在国际线航班，常常他们都会有呃，已经有素食的给你选择。但是如果你是个素食者，那么你最好还是啊，之前就先先跟他预定比较好。在订票的时候，啊，他们一定会啊，特别是你有特别的偏好，你啊，刚刚Austin老师是没有说，比如说你不吃猪或不吃鱼，
Thanks for the question, Melody. How to politely end a conversation with someone, especially if you really want to get some sleep. I would just say that you really want to sleep and that you're done talking for that moment. It's not really a big deal or impolite to tell someone, listen, I've had, some, uh, I've had a good time talking to you, but right now I really need to get some rest. And you could even offer to continue the conversation later when you wake up. I'm pretty sure that most people will understand that you want to get some rest and that you're done talking. Thank you, Austin, for your question. Thank you. I would also like to know, can I use my mobile phone or notebook computer during the flight? Thanks for the question, Corey. You are able to use your mobile phone or notebook computer on most flights. However, the airline company will most likely require you to keep your phone in airplane mode so that you do not have any service during the flight. Most flights nowadays do have Wi-Fi provided that you can use with your computer or your phone, although you will probably have to pay for this service. Um, one last thing, the, the airline will probably require you to keep your computer put away during the takeoff and landing part of the trip, just so that uh, it doesn't get in the way of any safety issues. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Austin. Uh, Austin, Gang Dui Cory, the Tiwen, uh, uh, Hui Da Ji Ge Hen, Jung Yao, the Jushi Tong Chang, Ni Zai Fei Ji Shang, Ni Yao Yong Shou Ji, Hu Shou Ti Dian Nao, Ni Yao Ba Ha Zhuan Dao Fei Hang Mo Shi, Ha, Jushi Yi Ding Yao, the Diego Jushi Shou, Yu Shi Hang Kong Gong Si, Kai Si Zai Fei Ji Shang, Ti Gong Wi Fi, the Fu, Jush Tong Chang Shi Yao Fu Fei, the Disenga Jushi. 大部分的航空公司会要求在飞机起降的时候，你必须要完全不能使用。啊，为了安全，怕受干扰的因素。嗯，这些都是非常好的回答。谢谢Austin，Thank you。嗯。Hey Austin, do you like to travel? When you travel, what would you do on the airplane? I love visiting new places, but the journey there is easily my least favorite part. <laughs> While on the airplane, I like to read and watch movies. There's nothing to do but try to relax and enjoy the ride. What about you, Lisa? Well, honestly, I don't like to travel. But I do like to go overseas to visit friends and family. I like to watch movies when I was on the airplanes. It's so hard for me falling asleep, so watching movie is a nice thing to do. Now let's check out our learning focus for today. Our learning focus today has two parts. The first is to learn the language used as a passenger on the airplane. The second is to learn the language used as a flight attendant. 今天的课程学习重点是学习飞机乘客的用语，还有学习空服员的用语。Later in our conversations, there will be many key words and phrases which you won't want to miss. Why don't we preview and learn these words first? Good idea. On to key words and phrases. All right. 第一个生字是 overhead compartment. 上方置物柜 Overhead compartment A bin above passengers' heads used for storing luggage 位于乘客座位上方放置行李的空间 For example, put all luggage in the overhead compartment or safely store it under the seat in front of you Put all luggage in the overhead compartment 
or safely store it under the seat in front of you. 请将行李放置在上方的置物柜，或是小心地放置于前座座椅之下。下一个生字 disembark， 下飞机。Disembark to get off a ship or plane. 下船或下飞机。As an example, flight attendants will be at the exit of the plane when passengers disembark. Flight attendants will be at the exit of the plane when passengers disembark. 就是当乘客下飞机的时候，空服员会在飞机的出口处。下一个生字 fasten， 系上或拴紧。Fasten to close something, such as a piece of clothing or a bag, using the buttons, zip, clip, or other things on it. 利用衣料上的或包包上的纽扣、拉链、夹子等的物品，与之拴紧。For example, please fasten your seatbelts. We are expecting rough air. Please fasten your seatbelt. We are expecting rough weather. 请系好你的安全带。我们正要经过一段恶劣的天气。下一个生字 ：airborne。Airborne, an aircraft that is airborne is in the air. 在空中的 For example, as soon as they were airborne, he started feeling sick. As soon as they were airborne, he started feeling sick. 当他们一飞到高空后，他开始觉得不舒服。下一个生字叫 upright， 笔直的。Upright, in or into a straight standing position. 这是很挺直的意思。For example, when taking off and landing, all seats must be in an upright position. When taking off and landing, all seats must be in an upright position. 在飞机起飞与降落时，所有的座椅都得调整成笔直的。状态。下一个生字叫 in flight， 飞行中的。In flight, provided for passengers flying in an aircraft。飞行中供应乘客的所有的物品就叫 in flight。For example, you may access the in-flight film entertainment shortly. You may access the in-flight film entertainment shortly. 于飞行中将放映的电影啊，将会马上播映。下一个生字 armrest， 扶手。Armrest, the part of a seat on which you rest your arm. 在座椅上摆放你手臂的一个地方。For example. On the armrest are the controls for lights, audio programs, and call buttons for flight attendants. On the armrest uh, are the controls for the lights, audio programs, and call buttons for flight attendants. 在座椅上的扶手上有灯光、控制广播频道以及呼叫空服人员的按钮。下一个生字 decaffeinated。无咖啡因的。Decaffeinated, a drink with the caffeine removed. 无咖啡因的饮品。For example, I'd like a cup of decaffeinated coffee, please. I like a cup of decaffeinated coffee, please. 我想要一杯无咖啡因的咖啡，谢谢。下一个生字叫 turbulence。乱流。Turbulence, sudden violent movements of air or water. 是指在空气中或水里的突发的乱流。As an example, we had just eaten when we hit turbulence. We had just eaten when we hit turbulence. 当我们遭遇到乱流的时候，我们才刚吃完饭。
Well, these are great keywords. I'm sure when you watch our skits, it will be a good time to review those keywords and phrases we just learned. Okay, now let's watch our conversation one and two. Excuse me, my carry-on luggage is too big and won't seem to fit under this aisle seat. Try and put it in the overhead compartment. If that won't work, I will find another place for it. I'm afraid I need your help. The overhead compartments are all full. Okay, sir. Let me help you with that. I'll put it in the first class compartment. You can get it when you disembark the plane. You need to take your seat now. The captain has said we're cleared for takeoff. Thank you. By the way, this headset doesn't seem to work properly. Can I have another one? Sure. I'll get one for you as soon as the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt light. Please return to your seat until we're airborne. Also, please return your seat to an upright position for takeoff. Here's another headset. Can I get you anything else? Yes. I'm afraid I need a pillow and a blanket. It's really cold in here. Okay, sir. And can I have something to drink? We'll be starting our in-flight service in a few minutes and serving drinks very shortly. Hey, do you know how to work these buttons on this armrest? I can't seem to hear anything. Ma'am, excuse me, are you ready for your meal? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, what choices do I have? Would you like salmon or chicken? Chicken, please. Ditto. Sir, I'm afraid all we have left is the salmon. I'm sorry. Salmon it is then. Could I interest you in a drink? Uh, juice. Orange or tomato? Orange, please. Uh, could I also have some green tea? Sure, and for you, sir. Coffee. Regular or decaffeinated? Regular, please. Would you like sugar and cream with that? No sugar, cream only. Thanks. How long will it be before we arrive? Another three hours and 20 minutes. We seem to be experiencing some unexpected turbulence. I'll be back with your meal shortly. Now let's take a closer look at some useful phrases and their usages. Uh, what are two types of luggage uh, people are uh, people usually uh, use it while they are traveling? There are two main types of luggage. One is checked luggage, and the other type is carry-on luggage. Both types of luggage uh, will go through X-ray screening and other kinds of security to make sure that they are carrying. Uh, things that are safe to be on the airplane, and they will both have a weight limit. The main difference is that check luggage will go beneath the plane in the cargo hold, and carry-on luggage is carried on with the passenger. Okay, 刚刚 Lisa 老师问 Austin 老师说 ，What are two types of luggage do people usually bring while traveling? 啊、uh, ，就是一般来说有两种款式的托运啊托呃行李，一种叫托运行李，叫做 checked luggage， 另外一种叫做 carry on luggage， 随身行李。这两个呃托运行李或者是随身行李都需要先经过 X 光的仪器检查，都有重量的限制。唯一的差别就是随身的行李。可能只是一个小袋或手提箱，它可以随身携带，跟着你上飞机。当然也有重量的限制了啊。As an example, you are only allowed one carry-on bag. However, you are allowed two pieces of checked luggage. You are only allowed one carry-on bag. However, you are allowed two pieces of checked luggage. 你只能携带一件随身行李，但是啊啊，托运行李可以有两件。I believe most of us, uh, most of our students have had the travel experience before. Did you know how to ask for the seat you would prefer? 
there are three kinds of seats you can ask for while you are checking in at the airport check-in counter. They are a window seat, a middle seat, or an aisle seat. 各位同學,你都有旅遊的經驗,你知不知道在飛機上那位置有三種位置,怎麼說呢?英文叫做window seat,靠窗的,middle seat,中間的位置,還有一個叫做aisle seat,就是靠走道的。那當然靠窗跟走道會比較方便也舒服如果你想要做這樣子的位置你可以早一點到櫃台報道你會有比較多的選擇你喜歡的位置當然如果你是事先就是透過旅行社來訂你也可以先告訴他你要做怎麼
同学们在飞机上的时候，你知道沟通的对话最主要就是发生在乘客跟空服人员之间。下列的两方的回答是相当的实用的，我会请 Austin 老师当做 passenger， Lisa 老师当做一个 flight attendant。好，我们看 Austin 老师怎么说。Excuse me, my carry-on is too big and won't fit under my seat. Let me help you with that. Can you help me put this up there in the overhead compartment? Sure. Do you know how to use these buttons or switches on the armrest? I'll show you how to adjust the volume. I'm afraid I need one more blanket or pillow. Okay, be right back. I'll get them for you. Excuse me, this headset doesn't work properly. Can I have another one? All right. Could I have something to drink? Tea or coffee? Would you like sugar or milk? What choices do we have for lunch? Chicken or fish? Excuse me, Miss. What is our flight number? It's a, a CI020. Now let's watch our skits one more time. Excuse me. My carry-on luggage is too big and won't seem to fit under this aisle seat. Try and put it in the overhead compartment. If that won't work, I will find another place for it. I'm afraid I need your help. The overhead compartments are all full. Okay, sir. Let me help you with that. I'll put it in the first-class compartment. You can get it when you disembark the plane. You need to take your seat now. The captain has said we're cleared for takeoff. Thank you. By the way, this headset doesn't seem to work properly. Can I have another one? Sure. I'll get one for you as soon as the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt light. Please return to your seat until we're airborne. Also, please return your seat to an upright position for takeoff. Here's another headset. Can I get you anything else? Yes. I'm afraid I need a pillow and a blanket. It's really cold in here. Okay, sir. And can I have something to drink? We'll be starting our in-flight service in a few minutes, and serving drinks very shortly. Hey, do you know how to work these buttons on this armrest? I can't seem to hear anything. Ma'am, excuse me. Are you ready for your meal? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, what choices do I have? Would you like salmon or chicken? Chicken, please. Ditto. Sir, I'm afraid all we have left is the salmon. I'm sorry. Salmon it is, then. Could I interest you in a drink? Uh, juice. Orange or tomato? Orange, please. Uh, could I also have some green tea? Sure, and for you, sir. Coffee. Regular or decaffeinated? Regular, please. Would you like sugar and cream with that? No sugar. Cream only. Thanks. How long will it be before we arrive? Another three hours and twenty minutes. We seem to experiencing some unexpected turbulence. I'll be back with your meal shortly. Wow, time flies. Well, we have fun learning English, doesn't it? It sure does. Before we let our audience and students go, let me give a brief review. Today we learned the language used by a passenger or a flight attendant on an airplane. Students, I hope you all enjoyed today's lesson. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye.